Hey guys, Jeremy Jakobowitz here from Brunch Boys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It is lovely seeing your beautiful faces through the tiny, tiny little baby lens in front of me. Uh, this is all about my food adventures all over the world, but today we are in my kitchen and we are making something very cool because I've partnered with Starbucks, yeah, Starbucks, and we're making something tasty to eat and something tasty to drink. So we have the Starbucks Fall Blends right here. And we are going to be taking this and making not only a cold brew drink because I drink cold brew every single day and I love it, but we are also going to be making a challah French toast because well, when I think about the fall, I think of Jew things and there's nothing more Jew, Jewy. I get yelled at. My grandfather tells me not to call things Jewy or like say, he's like say Jewish. Jewy make it sound bad, but to me it's Jewy. So today we are taking the Starbucks Fall Blends and we are making a Fall Blends whipped cold brew and a Fall Blend whipped hala hala French toast. It's going to be two very delicious things, two things that take inspiration from fall currently and fall in the past and fall flavors and fall ingredients because we're looking at coffee, we're looking at hala for Rosh Hashanah. Come on, I try to find these. So for like Rosh Hashanah, this, I know you guys are like, we're one minute in and you're rambling. Stick with me. On Rosh Hashanah, you normally have like a round challah. Uh, I couldn't find it right now because we're filming a little bit before Rosh Hashanah. So we have a normal challah and we're gonna turn that into a French toast. If you haven't had that before, challah and French toast are like this, simpatico. Um, and we're gonna make a cold brew drink because I drink cold brew every single day and I love it, but we're gonna make something really fun. So on top of the cold brew, we have the cinnamon whip and a little bit of apple cinnamon syrup. On top of the Kala French toast, we have again the cinnamon whip, the chunky apple cinnamon syrup, and it's gonna be great. And the whole thing starts with the cold brew, so let's start with that first. So to make the cold brew, Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of water to coffee grinds. And the difference between iced coffee and cold brew is iced coffee is you make hot coffee and then you make it cold. Cold brew is you're actually going to let the coffee grinds soak in the water uh, at least overnight, depending on how strong you want to make it. Take it out and then we're going to strain it through cheesecloth and just get what's left is going to be the cold brew coffee. All right, so now uh, let's just head over to the stove and we will make the syrup. Uh, the syrup consists of two apples that I'm, gonna, that I'm gonna cut up, sugar, cinnamon, and water. Basically what you wanna do is bring the whole thing up to a boil uh, and then just let it reduce for 10 minutes or until the apples are softened and it's the consistency that you want it. If you like forget about it and you're like, oh no, like I cooked it, it's too thick. It's just add a little bit of water to it and heat it back up and you'll be good to go. It's a very, it's a very, um, it's a no mess up recipe, which is what I enjoy. All right, so it is French toast time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up our beautiful challah and uh, then we will make the batter. But step numero uno, it's gonna be thick, I would say like one inch pieces, soak up all the batter. And day old hala, that's the secret. The more dry it is, the more it's gonna soak up the batter. Okay, cut up, um, let's make some batter. So we are going to mix half a cup of milk, whatever milk you want, uh, three eggs, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, French toast batter. All right, so next steps are going to be to soak the French toast and then get cooking. All right, so we're cooking to get brown on both sides and cook through. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes on each side. Oh. I think challah makes such a good vessel for French toast because one, it is like a bread that will soak up a lot of the batter, which is really good. And I also think that challah is naturally really buttery and eggy. So you're sort of just like amping up those flavors in the French toast too. It's good. One of my favorites. I feel like my mom made this for me. 
All right, these are looking good. Okay, let me pull these. I'm gonna start pulling. I feel like the French toast my mom make me would be like challah French toast. Um, ooh, like a like a cinnamon raisin bread French toast. That'd be good. Next up is just to top it. So we have one cup of heavy whipping milk, we have some cinnamon, and we have some confectioner sugar. We're just gonna whip. All right, so one cup of milk, two tablespoons of confectioner sugar, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now is the part where you get your workout in. Because I don't have a hand mixer, but you do not need a hand mixer, you just need a whisk. Good. It's gonna get a nice dollop. Holla, apple syrup, cinnamon, all the flavors, ingredients, smells especially. It's definitely the smells of fall. Oh, I mean, this definitely smells like a Northeast fall. All right, so what I wanna do is sort of bring all the flavors uh, together from both the drink and the food. Um, so to accomplish that, not only are we getting the apple and the cinnamon in every bite and the whip, uh, we're also gonna take a little bit of our uh, Starbucks fall blend grinds and just put like a little tiny dusting on top. A little tiny bit, and there you go. <laughs> and you get it all over yourself too. That, that was not part of it, but it's okay. It smells good, it makes the apartment smell good, so it's all good. So we have the cold brew, nice and filtered, and pour it in there. So obviously, you could drink it just like this. And it tastes great, and it tastes amazing, but we're making fancy today, so. Mm. And now, take the fall blown whip, we're just going to put the whip right on top, and then we're just going to drizzle it with a little bit more of the syrup. There we go. Let's cut into this bad boy. Because it smells good, and I bet it's going to taste even better. Mm. I think really like speaking back, speaking to like when I thought about growing up and thinking back to those like flavors and foods that I ate, specifically around fall. Literally, this is fall in a bite because you're getting the apples, you're getting the cinnamon, you're getting the coffee. All those things just like evoke an actual feeling within you rather than like, listen, my taste buds are like, ooh, this tastes amazing. But like, you're feeling this bite, which is what I was trying to do with the recipe. I was trying to evoke those flavors and emotions from you. And I did it, how about that? Uh, but the better part is, let's get some coffee in me. Hmm. It takes true skill to not spill all over yourself. That's good. I think for me, I really love having the coffee shine. I'm like, this is a big glass of the Fall Blend cold brew. So you're getting coffee flavors. You're getting those like sensations and spices and a little citrusy notes from the coffee. And I love that flavor. I drink coffee because I love the taste of it. And you were 100% getting that in the drink. I think just what we did was sort of just like bring those flavors out even more by adding in the Fall Blend whip and a little bit of syrup on top you're really emphasizing the flavor that's already in the coffee, which is the joy. You don't want to take away from what's so good there. You just want to make it better. That was the whole point. Mm. I think with the French toast also, listen, with the hala, it's buttery, it's eggy, it's dense, it's flavorful. It's holding up to everything that we put on there too. The apples, the sweetness, this sort of citrusy notes in the coffee. We're getting all of that into one glorious bite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you hit the like button because that's important. Subscribe, that's cool too. Comment below, let me know uh, what your favorite Starbucks drink is. You know, that's fun. And um, yeah, I got a lot of coffee, so I'm gonna just keep, I don't know, keep drinking that. <laughs>